I just want to start off today's video by saying Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season to all of you. Wish you guys a happy week ahead and that you guys can spend some good quality time with your families. But aside from that, I found an incredible new app generator on my X timeline today and it is truly insane. It's like Santa giving you a new present today. But this is the fastest way for anyone to create application. Allow me to introduce Grox AppGen. AppGen is a new app that enables anyone to create, iterate, and remix JS apps with full app generation speeds of mere hundreds of milliseconds. And this is thanks to Grox inference speeds. Currently, it uses the Llama 3.3 70 billion parameter model, which you can access on the web or locally, as this is an open source project. But essentially, it's a web app that can generate and modify web apps using Grox LLM API. It's built with Next.js and TypeScript, and it is super easy to get started with. This is actually the AppGen app, and this is where you can easily build any sort of application. For example, you can easily request it to create a calculator where you can simply provide that prompt in, and you can see how fast it was able to generate it. On the left hand side, you have the code being generated, and on the right hand side, you have the preview. You can easily copy the code and you can even export it locally, or you can have the ability to iterate on this app even further. You can even say something like make it even better, and then you can have the code fully generate for the next iteration. And you can preview multiple versions. In this case, it looks like it added color to the equal sign. Now, there's a lot of preset prompts that have been already created to create many of these different micro apps, like a weather app. And you can see how quick it is in terms of generating the contents for it. You also have the ability to write your own prompt to describe what you want to create as well as having the ability to use a microphone. You can use a mic to request it to create something based off your own voice. And there's multiple different types of apps that have been created by the community. You can see there's various sorts of apps that people were capable of creating like a solar system orbit simulator. So in this case, it looks like it has been uploaded with Wurzel and you can see this was something that someone was capable of creating with the help of Grok. Now, what we're going to be doing is creating a micro app ourselves. This is where I'm asking it to create a random quote generator on Stoicism. So let's go ahead and send this in and you can see right away, it's going to be able to easily generate this. So if you are to click on this, you can see multiple different types of quotes being generated related to Stoicism from Marcus Aurelius to uh, Epictetus and many others. Now, this is a second iteration that I was able to improve upon by simply telling it could you add more functions to it and you can see there's a couple of things quote of the day you have the ability to share the quote in this case it copies it to your clipboard and you can select between these three different quotes of authors so Epictetus, Seneca and Marcus Aurelius so you can also view all the quotes and you can even share this as a link to other people so this is a really cool way for you to even share your app with others. A feature that I overlooked was the mock-up feature. This is where you can easily draw functions to easily have it coded out. So in this case, if I want to create a video player, you can go ahead and you can create this mock-up of a play button and you can then click on done and you can ask it create this video play button for me. And then you, you can click enter and you can see that it was able to create that mock-up now obviously this is not correct but we can go ahead and make it better so please fix the placement of the button and there we go we have now fixed it and we have a functional play button but essentially the beauty of grox app gen is how fast it is in terms of building various sorts of micro applications from building video players to building various sorts of small image galleries. This is something that it's capable of easily building. And what I'm going to be showcasing next is how you can install this locally so that you can easily build various sorts of components locally. To install this locally, you're going to need to make sure that you have these prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure that you have Git installed. This is something that we're going to be using to clone the repository locally. Make sure you have Python. VS Code as your ID to configure API keys. Make sure you have MPN installed as well as a Grok API. Once you have all of these prerequisites fulfilled, head over to the GitHub repository link, which I'll leave a link to, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video in the description below. Go over 
to this uh, repo and click on this green button on the top and copy this link to clipboard. Now go ahead and open up your command prompt. So go ahead and simply open this up and you want to simply type in git clone and then paste in the link for this repo. Once it finishes cloning, you can then head over to the grok uh, folder or the directory by simply typing in cd grok uh, dash and then app gen and then click enter. Next, you want to open up VS Code, click on file and click on open folder and then find the grok app gen folder that you just cloned wherever you had cloned it. And once you have opened this up, what you're going to need to do is set your API keys. To do so, right click on this left end panel and click on new file and you can name this .env and once you have renamed this, click on this and what you'll need to do is start by typing in grok all caps underscore api underscore key equals and then paste in your grok api key after you've set your key click on file click on save and then you can close vs code then you can go ahead and copy this npm install command and then you can paste this in to your terminal and click enter this will install all the necessary packages to the grok app gen application and once this is finished we can then open it up by running the npm run dev command into our command prompt. So go ahead and paste this in after it's installed and you will now be able to access it on your local host over here. And there we go. We have this now running on our local host and this was something that we were easily able to install locally onto our computer. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video. You can see that this is a great new way for you to easily build applications super quick. And this is something that I'll leave a link to in the description below. This is actually really cool, a Windsurf AI chat interface that someone was actually able to create. Obviously, I'm not going to go ahead and explain this further, but you can see that there's so many different types of tools or apps being created with it. And this is something that I definitely encourage you to play around with. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. Huge props to Grok for developing this free application for anyone to access. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon, follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all the support and love you guys have been giving me. Lastly, I just want to say, make sure you guys spend some time with your families. It's the best time to do so. And if you haven't already, make sure you do so. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out, fellas.